Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we're gonna be showing you how to find your system information on Linux. So we'll be going over two graphical tools in the terminal that you can use to quickly find a bunch of information about your computer. And we'll also be going over some commands that come with pretty much every Linux distribution. So I'll start off by opening up a terminal and let's use the the uh, NeoFetch tool. So NeoFetch is my favorite system information grabber and uh, you install it basically just with your package manager. I'm on Fedora right now so I would do sudo dnf y install NeoFetch. Now this program is on pretty much every Linux distribution except for OpenSUSE. Uh, for some reason I can't find it on there but check the article in the description and you'll have information on how to install NeoFetch. Anyway once you got it installed you just run it and as you can see, it shows my distribution logo, which is Fedora. It shows me my OS release, which is Fedora 28. My kernel, which is 4.16.15, the Fedora kernel. It's been on for roughly 44 minutes. I have 2,117 packages. My shell is ZSH 5.5. My resolution is 1920 by 1080. My desktop environment is the wonderful Cinnamon desktop environment. My window manager is the Muffin window manager, as you can see. I use the Adapta Eta GTK 3 theme, and I use Papyrus as my icons. I'm using GNOME Terminal, and my CPU is the Ryzen 5 1600X. Six cores, 12 threads, and uh, my GPU is the NVIDIA GTX 1066 gigabytes. I have 2,000 megabytes, roughly, of RAM in use out of 16,000, or 16 gigabytes for normal people. And this is a nice, easy way to show a printout of everything you need to know. So earlier I mentioned that you can't get NeoFetch on SUSE or some other distributions. Well, another one that you could check out if you can't get NeoFetch is ScreenFetch. So just like NeoFetch, you'd install it with your package manager, in my case, DNF. ScreenFetch. Now this is basically the same tool. It's just got a slightly different name. Once it installs, we can just do screen fetch. And uh, much like NeoFetch, except it's a little less pretty, you can see my CPU, even the temperature, and the core count and the thread count, the graphics card, the RAM usage, the window manager, desktop environment, resolution, shell, packages, uptime, kernel, OS release, and whatnot. And those are some tools that, you, that pretty much anyone can use. And these are small programs. These are small programs that pretty much anyone can use. I prefer NeoFetch, but ScreenFetch is also very good. So let's move on to basic commands. So an important command to run is the lscpu command. If you're not sure what your CPU model is, maybe you got a computer from a friend and you don't understand exactly like what the thread count is, what the core count is, what the model name is, because maybe you want to, to know what it's capable of, you would run the lscpu command. So running lscpu can show you the flags for the cpu so all of the os flags for what it's supposed to be using show you the amount of l3 l2 cache both of these the l1 all this other stuff the virtualization ability so like i have an amd cpu so i can use amd-v and we've got the maximum th uh, the maximum and the minimum so maximum for not overclocking it so the maximum with overclock for this CPU specifically is 4.1 gigahertz, but on stock, the maximum is 3.6 gigahertz, and the minimum that the slowest it'll run is 2.2 gigahertz, and I can figure that out. I also know that the model name is this right here, the Ryzen 1600X. Vendor ID is AMD. My, my cores per socket is 6. Threads per core is 2. CPUs, and of course, this, these are virtual CPUs, so threads. 12 threads and then the architecture right here is uh, and all the information for that is right there and LSCPU can be used to determine information like that. So if I want to maybe find a specific thing in LSCPU I can run it with conjunction with grep. So say I want to just find the model I can do that and this will return the model number and I know that's the model. There are other commands. Um, another good one, if you are plugging in a USB device and you're not quite sure if it's being read or not, maybe it's not showing up in the file manager, 
maybe you just want to find a system spec of your USB in general, like what are the USB devices, what are my USB hubs, and what are my options. You can do LS USB. Now this will show me all of my USB bus devices, like how many USB buses do I have on my computer and what's plugged into them. And that's very useful if you're just trying to figure out USB information. Another thing is LSPCI. Now this is important if you want to figure out what your graphics card is, maybe you know, if you try to get drivers or other PCI devices in your computer, you would run LSPCI. Now, this has got a ton of information, but as you can see, I have PCIe devices. I've got my, uh, you know, a bunch of other stuff here. And as we, we can see, my NVIDIA graphics card is right here. And much like LSCPU, this can be combined with grep to make things easier. So if I do LS PCI grep NVIDIA, uh, sorry. I can see that this is the NVIDIA audio device part of my graphics card and this like the uh, corporation NVIDIA audio device corporation GP16 is the HDMI out for my graphics card and I also know that this is my graphics card in general and that's the VGA compatible controller and I can go through if I want SATA I can do SATA and I can filter that out I can filter out USB and find USB controllers. It's super useful and LSPCI is super important if you want to find devices connected to your computer. So uh, a bit rapid fire, we went through succession of these, uh, you know, these tools that you can use to find system information. Please check the article in the description, like I mentioned earlier, because we have more about how to use these commands, what they do, and we go over some ones that I haven't covered in the video. But suffice it to say, you guys, if you want to find out your system information, you can use like you can use tools like LSCPU to find detailed information about your hardware or LSPCI or LSUSB. You can also just do what most people should do the easy way and install NeoFetch or ScreenFetch and just get a detailed readout of what's going on here. Anyways, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.